Good day, my name's Robert Williams from Clearly Talking, and today's word of the day is vituperative. Now, this is a word that I've come across a few times in the past, but I was never really sure what it meant. It was, <laughs> you kind of read it and you think, oh, well, it means something like that, but you're not sure. It's, to be honest, it's not a word that I come across much in Australia. It's more of an American word, that, although it means just the same thing here that they tend to use it a bit more, where they like these longer words. So vituperative, and it means bitter and abusive. And it's come about because of this gun debate that they're having over there, over these assault rifles. And you can imagine the sort of goings on where they're both sides are slanging each other off and being very abusive with it. So that's vituperative. The challenge word that I left you with last Friday was tall poppy. Now, you could say perhaps I'm a tall poppy because I'm six foot three, I stand out a bit, and in a sense that's where it comes from because the, there was a Roman emperor who used to love to cut the heads off tall people because they stood out a bit too much and drew attention to themselves. And in a way that's the same thing here, that a tall poppy is somebody whose success attracts kind of envy because they're perhaps showing it off a little bit too much. And this is a cultural thing in Australia where the society is very much more egalitarian than in other English-speaking countries where we don't like people to show off their success. You know, it's all right to be successful, but do so quietly. Don't show it off because Australians like to think of themselves very much as equals. Today's challenge word is dunny. What's a dunny? And there are lots of words that you can put with Dunny. Uh, you can go and find out. There's a little project there for you for the weekend. See if you can find out what a Dunny is and what, how relevant it is in Australia today. Perhaps not quite so relevant, unless you live out bush somewhere. There's a bit of a clue. Now, if you enjoy our videos, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel down here. If you want to find out more about the 2018 Accent Reduction Programme and how it might help you or someone you love, then drop me a line to robert at clearlytalking.com. See you on Monday.